Hey, hello. Uh, this is the 43rd episode of the Super Mega Podcast, or the Super Mega Cast. I'm here with the one and only Matt. And That's me. Matt, we have a special guest today. We do have a special guest, Ryan. I, I would like to point out, we're very progressive. It only took 43 episodes to get our first girl on the podcast. What? It's the lovely Pamela Horton. <laughs> I'm clapping for myself. Th- that's fine. It's perfectly fine. the first girl? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, 43 it's, episodes. It's in. the first girl we've ever come into contact with. And, so. and you kind of you kind of didn't stretch too far because I'm a girl that constantly gets confused for a guy. So <laughs> is, is, it, is it the hair? It's it's, the do, you, hair. do you really get confused it's for a the guy? Hair. It's also too. I don't have a very feminine posture, so like a lot of girls are like you know like they yeah. chest out, shoulders back, and I'm just like. <laughs> I'm like slumped over. Just mouth usually. breathing and yeah, oh yeah. And plus, um, I'm I I'm very 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 much a um, yeah. I don't like to wear makeup. I don't like to wear. Mm-hmm. I'm very. I'm either. lazy. I'm just gonna say I don't like wearing makeup. I have this weird thing that Matt, you know. Oh, I'm, I know. I, yeah. It's it's not that I hate makeup. It yes, makes you me. Do. It makes me just kind of. You're do like this. You're, I, I want to say you're scared of it almost see, because it's like, if, if I see like like bright red lipstick or like makeup caked on someone yeah like and i'm talking to them i guess like i i i'm fe- i feel uncomfortable in well, the situation and as a woman i feel that it really it really raises the standard of your own beauty like when you look yourself in the mirror and you're like you have all this makeup on you're like freaking a i feel freaking fabulous and you take it all off and you feel ugly as shit and that is gross now that is that is your beautiful form and i Mm -hmm. feel that if women took more time to wear less makeup they'd feel more beautiful in their own skin and feel less insecure but i know that's really hard because you know there's a lot of there's a lot of uh media out there that would like photoshop and makeup and you know selling you on all this stuff and you have to really be comfortable in your own skin in order to to not wear makeup or you could be like me just be freaking lazy. <laughs> we, we, we've had a lot of sketches and videos where you've had to put makeup on. And every time we've had to put makeup on you, you you're like, you're almost not scared, but you're like adamantly against it. Yeah. Because when, when I was, does he shut me, down? L- he shuts like, down. Let me all put of it, his senses shut down. Let me put it this way. In, um, I used to play baseball. Uh, with makeup on. Yeah. And you know the stuff like <laughs> the, what, what is it called? When you put cool. on your cheeks, the oh, cold yeah. stuff. I didn't even want that. I like, I didn't want that put on when my dad was like, when I, I was like a pirate for Halloween one time, a uh, few, like two oh, years ago. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> two years like, ago. Like when I was probably, I don't know, like seven or something. And my dad was like, yeah, we're going to put some fake dirt on your face to, you know, make you look like a pirate. And I'm like, no, no, fake no. Dirt. Well, pirates are always out at sea. Where fake, would you, yeah, <laughs> fake, fake dirt. dirt. He probably was using real dirt. <laughs> but just, just slap some seaweed on your face and call it good. Is there, like, do they use real dirt when they do people's makeup? Or is it they like probably some they have makeup fake, powder? They have fake dirt. See, it is so fake, fake dirt. dirt is real. Yeah. So you know, it's you're really over funny. here making fun of me for like, what is that? It's fake dirt. No, right? no, no, no. Well, it would be he probably was he using fake dirt, fake fake dirt, or was he using real dirt on your face? It came with the costume, so oh. it was like oh. black smudgy stuff. Oh, okay, that's okay. supposed to. Well, I'd also like to point out, pirates ninety percent of the time are out at sea where there's no dirt. So why would you put dirt on? If a... anything, they should take Elmer's glue, put it on your face, and peel it off, so you have like dry looking. Yeah, skin. like sunburn. You okay. got scurvy and stuff. <laughs> <We'd>, we... <laughs> Get some freaking scurvy, man. That, that's Don't consume that, any fruit for a month before you get in your <laughs> costume so you really feel like you're playing the role. I, I think I uh, uh. I did um with the whole Halloween thing, I definitely stopped trick-or-treating too late. I did too. I think the last time I trick-or-treated was actually in high school. Oh, I, I was you, in high school when I did my last Did you have kids with you or did you just go? <laughs> I, I, had, I had a lot of kids with... No, no. Um, <laughs> I, had, was, I have kids. Ryan it was, was just me and friends with kids. <laughs> it was just me and my friend, and like we didn't like dress up big time because Did that you was put that on a was shirt embarrassing. That said costume, and then went door to door, and no. then people would like. <laughs> I, I I got mad at people who did that because I'm like they're just trying to take candy. But then whenever we went to a house, <laughs> at least five houses um, denied to give us candy because they thought we were too old. Yeah. So when I stopped trick or treating, I almost don't even want to say the age. What was the age? Were you in high school? I was seventeen. So you were a last time. Were you a junior or senior by that point? I think I was a junior in high school. I went trick or treating with my friend because it's free candy, and I love candy, and I don't want to give candy. You do love candy. I do love candy. I've cut back (laughs) on it because it makes me feel like shit when I wake up. Like at three a.m., I'll eat like I'll go to Seven Eleven and I'll get like three bags of candy. And when I say bags, I don't mean like three bags of candy. I mean like three grocery bags of candy. (laughs) I get heartburn. Yeah, I'll eat like all of it and then I'll wake up at 6 a.m. wanting to vomit with heartburn and then I can't move all day because I feel like absolute garbage. But 
I was 17 and I went with my friend and a bunch of houses were like, you're uh, you're too old to be trick or treating. And they denied me candy. I had I had the short end of the stick. I was forced to stop trick or treating well well before I was ready because I was living in a small town and outside of Wichita, Kansas. Okay. And so oh, wow. everybody knew me. Like everybody's like, oh, you know, they're they're the mom of you know the the cousin of someone in my grade or you know like yeah. everybody knew everybody in the small. I had a graduating class of ninety people. Oh wow. Ninety. So, was this, this, was, 90 this wasn't a public school. Was yeah. No. What? No. It was like, a public school. Kansas. Cool. Yeah, it's it's Clearwater, Kansas. So Clearwater when you and I, school. when Matt and I talks about coming from like the bumfuck nowhere, South Carolina, here you are coming from a place where you you graduated with only ninety, 90 other people. people. Oh, you 90 must people know in everyone class. in your high school when yeah. that happens. Oh yeah, I I just recently went to my ten year reunion. Oh wow. And uh, just was <laughs> went back to my ten year reunion because uh um you know like I I kind of felt like I was I wasn't bullied at Clearwater, but I was bullied in middle school, and oh. so it's kind of like a hey I did something, and you know I kind of want to like take a moment to like yeah. soak that in, <laughs> and so I went to this this reunion. I remembered everybody's names i i you do they know, remember like, yours yeah oh yeah do they did, oh, did yeah. you have you said you were bullied did you have a nickname that they would like call you snorton horton snorton horton <laughs> yeah that's what they did call you do me. a lot of coke in no i'm kidding it's, it's, well, no, <laughs> no. You, uh, like middle school yeah <laughs> <laughs> i was really hard into that coke when i was like 10 as, uh, as we all were <laughs> no when uh when i laugh really hard and it's still it still happens when mm-hmm. i laugh really hard i'll give one really loud snort and that probably won't happen on this podcast. No, it probably will. <laughs> are you? Are you? Is that a promise? Like I won't. I won't make you laugh. We're not. We aren't about laughing. Not funny here. enough, Pam. Oh, stop it! You made me laugh before the podcast even really started. You, you hear? You hear that, listeners? Back. Yeah, you hear that, guys? That means we're funny in real life. <laughs> Validated by a real girl. Yes. <laughs> thank Yay. you. Thank you. Wait, is it, so it, so I've never been to Kansas, and I get I, I just get the impression that Kansas is flat and full of corn and tornadoes. Uh, it's actually wheat. Uh, wheat? Okay. Corn is Nebraska. Are there okay. any? There is corn in Kansas, but it's mostly you know rolling fields of golden wheat. Are there witches on bikes? <laughs> no. <laughs> just just curious. Is that a Wizard of Oz joke? No. Okay. No, I was just wondering. <laughs> okay, no. It's, it's totally there, separate. Uh, I, I'm actually getting ready to go back to Kansas because my parents are moving up to Washington, and my mom has MS, So, and I'm the only oh. child that doesn't have a full-time job, so I'm going out there to help uh, help my mom pack up and move and stuff. Yeah. Um, but every time I go out there, um, you know, out here we have connections, we have industry, we have people, but we have you know, assholes, two-faced ladder climbers, all that fun stuff. That when you go out true. to Kansas, you get the raw community. You get people who genuinely want you to have a good day, even if they don't know you. And it's just, it's humbling to go back to Kansas and and feel that that sense of community. Like, everybody really cares about each other. And so, um, you know, I, I feel safe. You know, like, it's, it's, my, it's my returning point whenever I need to, you know, like, if shit got a really a bad relationship oh i just need to go back to kansas reset for a little bit and you know i have really good friends that i've managed to keep in touch with people that i've known for 16 17 years and that's a long time for me because my family grew, like moved around a lot so yeah. oh I, I i i feel the same thing on a smaller scale i mean i'm from charleston which is obviously a, a big city but it's not like a huge metropolis and i i feel the same way going back just to south carolina and even going back to like where Ryan's from, Columbia, which is a much smaller place. Like I love capital of South Carolina, where good all the, where all the good Woo! racist shit happens. That's they have they have <laughs> some confederate good there. They have like Confederate flag protests probably every month there. Good, good, good Classy. fun stuff. Just good Classy. people. But the thing is, they're all nice. They're super all the nice. All the people are nice. <laughs> yeah, so right. Wave. They're nice to me at least. Well, I, I I do love. I really like small towns. It's it's. I feel like people are a lot more real, especially because. I had never been to somewhere like L.A. my whole life until I think like two years ago to the day is when I first came to L.A. Whoa. And I met you Whoa. two years ago today, Ryan. <gasps> Was that yesterday or today? That's today. That's today? Oh, wow. Look at us. I just, Look how... just stumbled upon that little fact. Time has fucking how flown by. How did you remember by. the very specific day? Because I have an app called Time Hop, which lets me look <laughs> at old Facebook posts from two years ago. And two years ago, I posted, just landed in Los Angeles. Uh-huh. And then I met Ryan. So... Exactly a year ago, I walked into a room where I was pretending to masturbate to uh, to porn, old lady to porn. old lady porn, and that's how uh, he thought my friend at the time. At the time, uh, I lived with uh, Daniel uh, Kyer. Mm-hmm. It's really cool. 
And uh, he, I, I was expecting Daniel to walk in, and I was going to introduce myself in, in, in a funny goof. Because he's the one that was talking oh to Daniel. Oh, my like, gosh. So guys. I was, like, sitting at Daniel's computer. like, I was, like So <laughs> I, I go into my friend's oh. room to, like, find Daniel to be like, hey, hey, Daniel. And but then, nope, uh, it's, it's <laughs> just <laughs> this guy he's never met sitting there with, with elderly porn on the screen, and I'm, I'm pretending how did you, to. How did you time that? How did you, like, okay, he'll come in right now? I, I sat there for a good three minutes just, like, Pretending to, I was just like, all right. Um. I like how you're doing the motion too. Well, I have to, I have to show that's what I'm me. doing. That's me. That's not actually. That's not. Actually. That, that's Pam making that. <laughs> but uh, but then Ryan walked in. I turned around thinking it was Daniel, and I saw Ryan, and I was just like, oh, hey dude, <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. And then I, I I closed the browser, and then that's how I met Ryan. Oh. It was definitely God. a slow burn. You and I getting along at first. <laughs> It was definitely a... Yeah, that would be jarring. If I saw that, that would probably... Yeah, yeah I would immediately not be cool with that Just person. someone in your apartment doing that. and, and, and Because you didn't live them. there, right? No, no, no. This, is my, <laughs> this was my first time meeting the two of them. Oh. I met. I, I talked to them over Facebook. And oh. then they were like, yeah, come hang out. So then I flew out to Los Angeles, and that's how I met them. And that's how I got my start out here. Oh, man. So thanks, Ryan. Fun fact, I was actually born in LA. Really? I grew up in Kansas. <laughs> <What>? Really? <laughs> yeah, so my... My dad is from born and raised and lived the majority of his life, actually all of his life up until we moved to Kansas in California. And uh, my dad is an engineer in aerospace, so oh, he got a job in, you know, Wichita or Kansas, Wichita, Kansas is the uh, air capital of the world. What? Most of the planes that you fly on are typically built out there, like Boeing, Spirit, Learjet. Yeah. They're all out Did there. Did you get to fly on a bunch of planes when you were little? No, like, actually, no? first time I flew was to come back out here when I was 23. What? what? You didn't yeah. fly until you were twenty three. Yeah, well, because how, how does that happen when your when when your dad works on planes? My dad works on planes. He doesn't fly them, so I'm still. But still, he could he could stow you away on one for the experience. Also, too, <laughs> we we liked um, my my parents were very much about the experience, and so whenever we traveled, we drove because oh, you got yeah. to take little stops, you got to spend more time Road together. Trips. You didn't okay. have to. You know, we went camping every year, and it was it was amazing. Like I've explored most of the the wooded areas of California and most of the what would be considered camping areas in in and around Kansas. Uh, but yeah, no, I, I never flew until I was about twenty three. Wow, first you, time ever. Do you have like a scary camping experience with any woodland creatures? Woodland creatures, no. People, yes. Ooh. No bear stories. No I, I, I used to go I on Reddit to... and like read scary camping stories. Do you have anything fun and terrifying you could share? Um, so I learned from a very young age that I was prone to being pursued by pedophiles. Oh, jeez. And <laughs> so there were multiple times when, because we lived in uh, Lancaster when I was five years old. First time I. Uh, Actually, I shouldn't say first time uh, I remember Halloween, but I didn't actually go trick or treating Mm -hmm. um, was uh, my mom had taken my my sisters and my brother out trick or treating and my dad and I stayed home. And my dad was just I think at the time, honestly, I think he was playing Link to the Past and was just sitting in the living, not totally not (laughs) even paying attention to me. And uh, so I was uh, getting ready for bed and I'm just walking around in my underwear and there was a man in our backyard. Oh, Jesus like, Christ. And I remember my dad going outside and like chasing him down. And I was just remember being like, there's a man in the backyard. Oh, you know, ah, what's he doing? That's, oh, God. It's Did, nighttime. Go to bed. They, they should make it mandatory for all children to carry like bull whips. So if they ever see a pedophile, they can just... <laughs> <laughs> Why? Stay back. They're like, oh. Pedophiles no. would be terrified of it. <laughs> if they all carry these huge whips. They give them to a school, have lessons on how to whip. How to whip a man in the face. That would not go well in the South. And then their theme song would be <laughs> Whip It by Devo. Yes. <laughs> Just whip it. That song is actually about something else, though. The song's about jerking off. Oh, yeah. Oh, is yeah. it? You know that? Oh, yeah. My dad. So is my dad's Japanese. A... Oh, God. Uh, funny thing is, I was about to say my dad and then just left it at that because that sounds really It's like, funny. that song's about jerking yeah, off. That's my, my dad. That's my, my dad. My dad masturbates. That's, <laughs> so, that's the similarities. No, 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 no. Uh, my dad is very into uh, what would be considered untraditional music back before it was culture, like, like, pop culture so like your dad's yeah. a hipster yeah my dad my dad is an original hipster so we listen to a lot of devo a lot of oingo yes. boingo yes. xtc I, I've, I've said ecstasy instead of people like no you don't listen to ecstasy you take it you know like <laughs> well okay yeah okay that's exactly what i meant thank you for the correction i appreciate it um but my dad 
would I, I remember thinking back oh my gosh i love this song i'm gonna listen to it again it was the little girl song by oh Lingo my Boingo. god and i was like i used to remember dancing That's to this a song. Creepy song it is super creepy it's not and a bad i would dance song, in the living room of our house and my dad would be like singing it to us well, how's like, the song go i don't know goes, I, 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 love I love little girls, girls they make, make me feel so good i love <laughs> that reminds me of uh, say anything as a song called little girls and i love say anything and it's like and the and it starts out and he goes I kill, kill, kill little girls. What? Such a thrill, thrill, thrill to the world. It's like it just what? starts off with that, and it's funny. I, I was I was working at this place, and there happened to be a teen mom, and I was single, and she was single, and so we went out on a drive, and I started. I just pressed the play button, and that song came up, <laughs> and she seemed very uncomfortable. Oh. She has a little girl. She has a. She was a teen mom. She had a little girl. So it's just that song. And I'm I'm grooving to it. I'm having a good time. It's a match made in heaven. Yeah. Oh. So that that was an interesting experience because she was she probably, dead quiet the rest of the ride until I dropped her off because I was just dropping her off from where we were. <laughs> did you play the whole song or did you just? She just let it ride out. I didn't notice. It was like she she like texted me or mentioned it the other day. I can't really remember too oh, well, but I, she was just like that <laughs> that song. What, like why do you listen to that stuff? I'm like it, it's not a song about killing little girls. Even though the main lyric is. I, I kill, kill, little kill, girls, kill little girls, and I get a thrill from killing. Is little it girls? about? Is it about? What is it about? Tell me. Tell what's, me. What's it about? Yeah. What is it about? For me. <laughs> oh, we're we're like our perception of it, our not perception? the real meaning can, can of it. Can you break it down? I uh, like that's sometimes. What it looks like you're gonna do. It looks like I was gonna put yeah, the whole like... mic in my mouth. <laughs> if I talked with a mic in my mouth. <laughs> uh huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh God, gross! It would sound exactly like that. Sometimes I want to stick the mic in my mouth, and then I remember everybody talks into the mic. Like in for hours, I mean it's probably covered in disgusting. The bacteria. more germs, the more germs you equate yourself you with, that's the better true. your body is at defending. Your yeah. immune system grows yeah. stronger. So because that's why I'm not babies. afraid to eat stuff off the floor and stuff like that. I, I just think thing. the dirtier I can be after I shower, because I do shower Sometimes. every now and then. I'm Sometimes. Kidding. Also, it could also just be the factor of being lazy. You know, like yeah. Just, I don't give a shit. Fuck, I don't know. I've, I've always it's been one to good. eat things off the floor, and and I've had friends that, you know, if it touches the floor, you know, they they, they freak out and they'll never eat it. And I'm like, the five-second rule. Actually, did on Mythbusters, they didn't, didn't they test the five-second rule? And it's like, bullshit? I don't know. I always think back to... Is that before, even real? I, I, don't, I don't think it is. But, like, back before we had, we had houses, back when we were, like, fucking cavemen and women... We didn't care of, like, the food was already on the ground. They need raw The meat. ground was just there. Well, the but back then, we didn't have a cleaning process for A lot of people food. did die, true. So, but, I mean, but also, too, our bodies were used to the shit that we put in it, and we died earlier. But, you know, like, we, we've sacrificed the ability to eat whatever the hell we want, wherever it came from, to live longer. So, yeah. that, that's why when, like, there's a, there's a little trade off there, I guess. Yeah. Like, like, if I'd I, rather <laughs> eat stuff off of the ground, though. Yeah. If I drop, like, goldfish on the ground and, like, someone's dog is going to eat it and they're like, don't, don't let him eat that. It's like, he used to eat raw meat, like, out of a dead carcass. See, I'm sure a few goldfish won't kill him. No, not a few goldfish. If he eats, like, a whole fucking tub, you got problems. You think? I did. I've, I've done a bunch of research. Like, Diarrhea. dogs. Like, oh, uh, that's the worst with a dog. My dog, Lego, accidentally ate. Some cocoa puffs, like about like a good, like probably like I don't know, like ten little circles, fifteen, ten, fifteen little ten circles little puffs of, of cocoa, cocoa puffs. Little, little and I, puffs. And I looked it up. Cocoa variety. Dogs have to eat a good bit of chocolate before something really bad happens. Yeah. The, the, I guess the most important thing is just watch them and make sure they don't show any signs. Well, let them eat a little chocolate, guys. That 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 is our that is chocolate. our tip of the day for the podcast. Don't let no. your dogs let eat your dog chocolate. Eat a little but bit what of I'm chocolate. saying no. is don't don't It won't kill them, but it'll give them horrible stomach problems. Yes. They'll poop everywhere. Well, All I'm saying is don't don't cry and 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 run around the house and think that out. your dog's going to die if he ate a single puff of cocoa. Well, um <laughs> our guest on the podcast Pam does have a message and she says to let your dogs try eating some chocolate. No. Just, I did just, not It's going to be that. linked to you. No. He is coming after you. Oh no. I you told right me that before the, the podcast. You said you wanted to let people know that it's okay to feed your dog chocolate. I did not. There's no way I can prove it either. Uh, she's flip-flopping everywhere. <laughs> you, just, you just hold you just pry open their mouth, take some Hershey syrup and just squeeze it down their throat. But Hershey's isn't real chocolate. Is it not? Do you want to try that with my dog? I after <laughs> <laughs> what, test No, it? well there's there is ch there is chocolate in Hershey's, but I actually found this out when I went to uh, the Netherlands for VidCon EU. Are you going to ruin Was Hershey's that... for us? No. <laughs> I actually used to have a huge heart on for Hershey's, but ever since I went to uh, the Netherlands, they actually have 
laws against the cocoa consumption and the amount that you can have in chocolates. So really? everything is super high cocoa like potency. They have like chocolate. There is real. That's like the not best just chocolate. Like the chocolate world. bitter, like in its in its true yeah. form. It's yeah. like super bitter, like super dark. But like that's where you get the milk chocolate when they mix the milk with it, and it's I not like as bitter. Chocolate. But the milk chocolate, chocolate, chocolate out here is mixed with like processed sugars and like m- bunches of stuff that make it sweeter, but not necessarily more chocolate. Things that are so making me slower to move. Yes, essentially. exactly. <laughs> and uh, so when I went to uh, Amsterdam and I had a hot chocolate there, it changed my life. Oh my God. It was life changing. I had a life changing hot chocolate. Who so, can say that? So wait, do you, is it similar to dark chocolate, like cocoa? It's bitter. It, it's like is it like bitter, bitter like dark chocolate? It's it's uh, dark chocolate is is a lot. It's kind of like more more of that like that raw. I don't like raw cocoa. Uh, <laughs> it sounds so brutal. Give me that raw cocoa. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but it's it's lot a lot of the sugar is reduced. The natural sweeteners are re- taken out, and it's just it's super more of the natural bitter. like actual cocoa from the, yeah. the cocoa beans which actually do i look interested in chocolate right now because you, you do not look interested i can't i actually honestly could never read your face you so, can't no. do, I, do i what is, is do i have a very just kind of kind of a dead face sometimes do, do, do i <laughs> mostly have a dead possible. face what does it do i have resting cock face no but i i see no not resting cock face i see it That's as like else. an adventure mm-hmm. because that means there's more to you you're not putting everything out there so there's more to discover and explore you as Damn. a person are an adventure see Don't i don't know i don't know how i come off to other people so could with you with your hands or your i i talk a lot with my <laughs> hands uh, i was making a sex joke ryan doesn't actually know about sex oh uh, so. me neither yeah so I'd like... we, we we can't talk about that because his, his mom actually called me recently and said that on the podcast we were getting too close to having talking, about, talking about what sex is and uh, she doesn't want him to know that yet. Oh, so. okay. So your mom listens. Hi, mom. She does listen. So does my mom. Hi, mom. My mom listens. I think- so, could you could you say hello, Cecile? Hi, Cecile. Hope you're having a wonderful day. You say hi to my mom. You say hi, Anne. Hi, Anne. I hope you're having a wonderful day. There you as go, well. mom. Now she'll be happy because my mom's gonna text me and be like, "You talked about all this disgusting stuff with a girl on the podcast," <laughs> and then oh immediately my. said hi to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my mom will be happy now. There you go, mom. Real happy. Please stop listening to the content I make. It's really embarrassing, and I don't want you to listen to that. Thank Aww, you. Aw, that's support. I've I've used the podcast as a way to nudge my mom in the direction of like she'd post pictures that I don't I wouldn't want her to post on like Instagram, like baby pictures that like fans ended up getting, and I'd be like. On the podcast, be like, man, it really sucks that my mom does this. And then since she listens, it clues in and then she'll stop it. For, She's like, I for, think for a he's month, trying and then to tell right me back something. <laughs> I think he's trying to tell me something. It, it doesn't work when I tell her directly. Yeah. If I'm like, mom, please, if I ask her nicely, mom, please don't do this. Doesn't matter. Yeah. But if it's on the form of the super mega podcast, she yeah. she, she she'll, has to abide. Then she's on it. Then she's on it. She's like, do you guys have issues with your mom accepting like friend requests or things from like fans? Yes. Or like, oh, not yeah. him. No, my my mom actually is completely out of everything. She she sits Good back and her. watches. Good for her. M- she, my mom interacts with the people, and I really don't think that's a I don't think that's a smart move, mother. Yeah. I just, I just, Miss McGee. I really don't think my mom understands these. Uh, so my mom, <laughs> these my, creatures. my mom, <laughs> my mom actually, and this is, this is a sense of pride and, and I feel really good that she does this. But every time I go back to Kansas, I go to my parents' house and then she'll be like, Hey, come walk over to Chuck and Chuck and, uh, I'm like, who's Chuck? Like, let's, let's walk over to Chuck's house. And I'm like, why? And she's like, well, I told him we'd come over. I'm like, for what? She's like, he's a fan of yours. Oh, and I'm like, no. Wait, what? Oh, no. Yeah. Wait, like in real life? Yeah, yeah. Just like she tells them before I get there that I'm going to come over. And then I doesn't that's tell me, to me or ask me at all. Yeah, and because then... that's your family. This is a stranger. Yeah. 100% no, 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 stranger. No, 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 no. I'm talking about that's happened to me too. Your mom a, met a stranger. a stranger online and had you meet them. No, not a stranger online. But but my mom, my, well, my parents have have met people before that they'll have a like yeah. a, a son that's, that's like oh that's yeah what I'm come, come, come my meet mom him he's a big fan and then I got okay a, yeah yeah <laughs> <But> <laughs> I thought you were really... talking about like your mom just met someone online I'm a fan of your daughter can well, I meet I mean, her she has done that but not met them in <laughs> in person like that's how there we was... met that's how we met Pam yeah <laughs> you see your you see your mom just counting bills yeah just she's she's actually my internet pimp um uh but no she's trying to take me to liquor stores where like the liquor store tenant will you know, just be like behind the counter and my mom will 
like probably be talking about me and they'll be like oh yeah i follow her on instagram and then she'll be like oh next time she's in town i'll bring her to meet you and then she'll never tell me until i get there and she's like hey come with me to the liquor store i need to i need to pick some stuff up and i'm like okay and i go with her to the liquor store and they're like hey here's ryan you've never met him before but there's ryan that guy right there uh i know you i know you i I, i've seen you online before (laughs) on instagram i follow you buy some alcohol do you want to Discount? Can, can we take a fan pic? Can we take a picture? I've done that in a liquor store. <laughs> in a freaking liquor store. Because I didn't... Now at this point, I have to second guess when my mom wants to do stuff because I she doesn't tell me immediately and then it'll just be right there. Hey, by the way, here's this random person <laughs> who knows who you are and you had no idea they, they that this whole thing was going to happen. And then it's like, hey, yeah, hey, how you doing? We've, we've, nice to meet you. We've talked about this before, but you were just mentioning like you've taken a picture in a liquor store with a fan. We had an encounter. We've talked about this before, as I said. Where we were on the highway driving back from Las Vegas, oh, a yeah. car pulls to the side of us, and they go, "They go, hey, how's your? Uh, do you like your Fiat?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I, I like it. It's it's a nice small little car. I can fit into tight little places. Blah 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 blah." They're like, "Okay, we were thinking about buying one." And all of a sudden, it's like, "My daughter says, are you Ryan?'" I'm like, "Yeah." And then like, of course, they see Matt and Daniel in the back, and it's like, oh wow, they turn out to be fans, and so we in the middle of the desert. They took a picture of us on the highway while we were like driving the the car. car, Just it was just this weird, just. So you guys were actually moving. You weren't. We were moving. We were going slow, bumper to bumper, but was it? No, it was not at that point. It was pretty slow. Not at that point. At that point, probably still drunk. I was very drunk. At that point, (laughs) I if I remember correctly, um, it was not not that traffic heavy it was because we were driving we were probably going like 50 55 miles an hour just driving next to someone along Not when the she way. was talking huh was she yelling out at you while we were going like dude 50? i'm picturing this scenario and it's like i it's remember i was driving now. and i had to keep looking over oh i remember like a, a slow crawl <laughs> we we ended up slowing down but like when she first kind of like looked over we were we were going now i'm now i'm imagining we were going like 90 down the freeway and she's just screaming over the wind like are you running <laughs> <laughs> Can, does that come across in the fucking mic at all? Yeah, I think it does. That effect that I did? I hate when you're in like the back seat of a car and or you're just in a car and there's one window down and it's just that I can't do well will that make you pass out? It because hurts your ear. It, it, it like hurts your yeah. brain. In my head, like I start getting lightheaded and it yep. starts yeah, could you pass the, out from that? The inner ear thing. It's like, like the your, pressure. The pressure in your ear. That's why like if uh have you ever had labyrinthitis? What I have the, no idea what, what that is. Okay, is. so labyrinthitis is when um, you're like basically part of the membrane of your inner ear is swelling and then the water in your ear doesn't know where to go. So oh. you constantly feel like you're drunk. I've and never had that. I've had, <clears throat> it was a side effect. You've had this before? Yes, I've had it. I had it for a very long time where if I wasn't, if I wasn't like laying down on my back with my head directly facing the ceiling, I felt like I was like rolling, like oh god, yeah, my my body. How long just, were you like this? Uh, I missed three days of work. Uh, at the time, I missed three days of work, and I didn't fully recover for about three weeks. Oh my god! How do you go Wait, about recovering? What, what does the doctor have to do? Okay, um, how does it happen, and then how do you? So they give you they give you like antibiotics because usually they they say it comes from from an infection, but my my lady doctor thinks it was a side effect to my birth control, so he took mm-hmm. me off oh, my wow. my birth control, and that's when the stuff started to subside. But I was also taking antibiotics at the time, so it could have been the antibiotics or the the removal of the birth control. Don't really know, but I'm just glad that it stopped. I've heard a lot of horror stories about birth control. Yeah, Ryan and I. But like, they'll they'll eventually get put on the right stuff, and it like everything evens out. But like, if you get put on just something that you just don't connect with, right? Yeah, well, and like a lot of girls, uh, especially now, want to do the 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 like no chemical, no hormones, no blah 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 types of birth control. Um, you know, obviously I'm, I'm now 29. I just turned 29 last week. So happy I've, birthday. Yeah, thanks. Happy birthday. Aw, thanks, man. I wish uh, you a happy birthday now since I didn't do it over Twitter. It's okay. I apologize that it's I didn't okay. tweet you happy birthday. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's you okay. seem he, a bit, you seem a bit peeved that he, I did. He opened I'm my birthday so... present. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, what? He, that time you opened my birthday present for my mom. It was a trash can. How was I supposed to know your mom sent you a trash can for your 21st hey, you birthday? you make it sound like it's a piece of shit. It was a nice trash can. It's a can. nice trash can, yes, but it's a trash can nonetheless. And we were talking about getting it, it besides the fact. Sorry, Pam, go on. Yeah, continue. <laughs> continue. Uh, let's, let's steer away from this trash can conversation. <laughs> um, but I've been, you know, I've been on birth control since I was... 15. Same, uh, yeah. Yeah, right? Right? Mm-hmm. Um, but I've trialed and errored my way through a bunch of different things. I've learned that I have very, very low tolerance for uh, hormones. So when I'm on a high hormone birth control, I'm a 
bitch. I am the worst. And uh, also, too, uh, hormones can't just make you, they don't just make you mean. Sometimes they make you depressed. So when you start taking birth control and your body, like, levels out and then you slowly feel yourself starting to get depressed and then you think it's something in your life. So I went through this period of rapid, horrible depression because I was on a low-dose hormone birth control that I thought my body was dealing with good. I lost my acne. My I was losing weight. I thought it was good, but I wasn't happy and then got off of that birth control, suddenly was happy again. And so... With the emotional changes that happen with birth control, I'm, I'm like, is is that stuff that... Does it create those emotions? You wouldn't be feeling sad or does it enhance them? Does it just um, kind of intensify stuff that's already so there? So this is... And, and I'm really glad that you're... Never been this... on, I've never been on a period, so, <laughs> so I'm... I've never I, been on a period. I've never, <laughs> I've never... So what I like to... What, what I explain... Because I feel like I'm a sentient cyborg as a woman where I'm... Of I know course, when that's, I'm that's PMSing. How, that's how everyone I know, sees women. I know when I'm I'm about to be a bitch and I'm like, I'm sorry, I'm irritable. I apologize. Get as far away from me as you can. <laughs> um, because what I like to see it as, uh, you know, like, um, uh, what do you call the fuck? What do you call the... Uh, a period? No. <laughs> what do you call the periods? Uh, no, the gels. The gels that you put in front of lights to change the color. Are you talking about the it gels you put in shoes? To, yeah, like, no. <laughs> the gels you put in, like, the colored gels that you put in front of lights to change the color. Yeah. So the light doesn't change. How much light is being put out doesn't change, but the color that it exudes is different. Okay. So I imagine, th- th- as a metaphor, that you're putting up a different color gel changes the light. Uh, the person doesn't actually change. A woman isn't actually changing. She just has no control over what light she's putting out. Okay. Like someone's okay. throwing up this gel and she's putting out a blue light and you're like, dude, that fucking blue light's not cool, but she can't change it because she has to deal with it for three, four days. All right. So, All right. you know, like that's that's the best way that I can explain it, but I'm aware and I, I'm normally very, very much in tune with my body and my emotions. So when I'm feeling irritable, I'm like, dude, I don't know why, but it's really pissing me off that Ian put the the toilet paper roll on backwards. He like, always does that. That fucking pisses me off, and I don't, like, and I want to pick a fight with him, and then and then I'm like, why, why, why? <laughs> Just turn it around. It's not like he was doing it to get at me. Like, it's really hard to navigate through these emotional mazes when girls are PMS. It's so bad. And I feel, honestly, guys, you guys are cool. Men and women who deal with women who are PMSing are freaking awesome. You hear that, men of the world? Yeah, you guys Can we get a round of applause (laughs) for me and Ryan? (laughs) Fuck yeah. Uh, You guys are so patient and you deal with so much shit that you don't have to. But then again, you know, power to those girls who deal with the shit that they're going through and have no control yeah, over. Yeah, that sounds no fun. It's yeah. not fun. It's like I feel like whenever I have to be on camera when I'm when I'm about to start my period, I'm like, <sighs> gotta center myself, gotta do something, gotta listen to some freaking queen or something because I'm not feeling this and people are gonna tell. Like you you guys know me pretty well. Like I'm high energy, I'm yeah. happy, I'm bubbly. Yeah. When I'm on my period, I am not nice. No. And I'm like, I, I, I don't want to talk to people. I'm just like, I'll just stare. And, you know, like, it, it changes you. It really changes you. Yeah. And I can't get in that mindset. Like, I can only understand the way you're explaining it to me. But I guess because I'll never experience it. Yeah. I'll have no idea. Like, I... Is if it you, is it because I always thought it was an you were like they were irritated with what is going on. No, 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 no. It, it is it is a hormonal. There's, it is definitely one hundred percent a hormonal change. Yes. So so like that like like that gel works two <clears throat> ways. It changes the way that you see the color of the light and the light that it exudes. Um. So it can be any trigger. It doesn't have to necessarily be a certain thing. You'll learn over time by being with a woman that there are certain things to not do when she's on her period. Like you don't fuck with her chocolate. You don't fuck with her cereal. Don't mess with her drinks or don't sodas. Fuck with her Any consumable, you leave it alone. You do not fuck can with I, that cereal. Can you I, hands up. Can I hide little Easter eggs with tampons in them, and she can't get a tampon unless she finds all the eggs? Oh like no, that would. Oh, don't you don't right, even I'm practical sure that's jokes. Go great. What practical jokes during that time is not okay. Um, uh, you want to create convenience, not take it away. <laughs> um, but uh, so have them dangling from door frames just in case she needs one. I well, guess. I have. Uh, so I have. <laughs> I have a drawer in in my bathroom that is like my my period drawer where it has I have emergency. Does it have like a red flashing emergency sign? No, no, like no. Caution? It's just it's just like when a girl. I've actually ha- I host girls' night at my house and I've had girls go into my bathroom <clears throat> like I appreciate your girl drawer. I like it. 
I like your drawer because you open it and it's got all kinds of goodies in there. It's got the tampons, the pads, the panty liners, and then it's Damn. got candy. It's got Damn. it's got candles. It's got scented things. It's got wet wipes. It's got it all. It's like I'm set up. I am. It's, it's it's like going into a bathroom where the guy dries your hands off for you. You got the mints and no, uh, spray and you got mouthwash. It's like yeah. one of those bathrooms. Yeah. It's a fancy oh, yeah. bathroom. Because, like, you know, obviously you guys know that periods don't, you know, always happen like clockwork. Sometimes you'll be in the bathroom like, oh, fuck. Okay. Well, shit. And then you have to take care of it. And so there's my take care of it drawer, and it's ready that, for you anything. You got that shit on, on lock. You got it's that shit ready, ready for anything. And, and also, too, I, I'm support for life. So, like, in any game, I play support. In real life, I play support. So yeah. I always try to, to you know, make everybody comfortable and, can like, make things convenient. So I... I know that if I'm going to have girls night, I'm going to make a girls mm. night drawer where it's just like I... secret candy, other secret things that I can't talk about. We should make a girls night drawer. Do well, it. I, I think that girls we... will appreciate that, by the way. If you just yeah. have tampons at your house, just, you know, like it, not to say that you have a girl. Yeah, but if like, it's their oh. first time coming over, wouldn't they? Like, oh, no, got, no, no, no. Have tampons? no, 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 no. I actually the uh, um, the first time that I started dating uh, Ian, I came over to his house, but I came over to his house and he had tampons in one of the drawers in his bathroom. And it was a lifesaver. Girls who were in that situation, they were like, oh, shit, I don't have anything. I can't ask this person that I just started dating to go get me tampons. That is true. That's a good point. So so it saves them the embarrassment because they're not going to tell you, hey, by the way, when I just started dating, I started my period. It, it avoids all embarrassment. And yeah, okay. in those situations, those girls will appreciate the hell out of it. And I'm not speaking for all ladies. They could be, it could be different. That Some girls could be like, oh, what the hell he expecting? Well, every Is girl. Is he seeing someone if, else? If she pulled open a drawer and there was a ton of condoms, that would be different. That would Why be is like that different? An condoms are normal. Condoms are normal. Condoms are but way more normal to have than tampons in they, a guy's they environment. Are, but I feel like condoms are stored in like a nightstand or, instead of a bathroom. Like, hold on, girl. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> Let me Oh, yeah. <laughs> Let me go to the bathroom. Real They're quick. not like in a candy jar in the living room. <laughs> when I well, when Take I was one, in college, when I was in college, like the dorms would have candy jars of condoms oh, yeah. just sitting out. For but they used to hand out free a, condoms on Halloween. Like, that's all a the college time. dorm. That's different. This is your house where where condoms are used is typically in the bedroom next to the bed. Bathrooms are where periods happen or period d- d- enduring things. Also, too, I'd also like to point out the fact that it's kind of funny and a little bit. Funny that I'm the first lady on the show. We're talking about periods. Yeah, all we're talking about is like birth control and periods and tampons. I have a story that I just remembered because we started talking about condoms. Way back when I lived in South Carolina, I had wings. And you know how they have like, I I, I had a dirty room, like covered with trash, everything. Then when you say wings, what are you talking about? Like 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 traditional teriyaki wings. Oh, okay. So I was thinking, I was still on the the period wavelength. We're getting there. Like the wings of a pad. Like I was like, (laughs) what the fuck are you talking about? (laughs) <laughs> I, I had I, I was so I was eating the wings. I got done with them. My hands were dirty, so I, I reached down to grab. You know how they have those little like the things? wet wipes. Yeah, the wet <laughs> wipes. I know where this is going. <laughs> Lo and behold, I just started wiping my hands with a condom, <laughs> and, it, and, it t- and it took me three like probably a good three full seconds for me to realize you were just that I was wiping like, your hands with a condom. I, yeah, I was just like, gotta get this wing sauce off. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I wish I could have just gone back in time with like a professional photographer just to snap the moment you realized you're wiping your hands like wing sauce all around your mouth all over your hands and you just have a condom in your hands it's, covered in barbecue If my parents sauce. walked up and the... saw that scene just no I swear well, son what you, uh, son well, you can do whatever the, you want it's not the same as like or as like embarrassing or weird but there was uh, do you guys do either of you have a fear of spiders Oh, I'm I'm more of a a, a roach. I'm scared of roaches. Oh, okay. Spiders don't really bother I'm me. I'm scared but... of anything that can go from still to scuttling in a uh, millisecond. Super... So. <laughs> so they're they're uh, when I actually funny thing is I'm not wearing a necklace right now as I talk about a story where at nighttime when I'm laying in bed like trying to fall asleep I'll like play with the pendant of my necklace. And there was one night where I was like sitting there thinking about like something that was going on at school or something like that, and I was like playing with my pendant and then I pulled on the pendant to like adjust the chain and the chain didn't move and then I touched my neck and realized I wasn't wearing a chain. No. I was twiddling a spider. No. I was twiddling oh, a spider. I did, I, did, I did that once. I was sitting at a table eating like a hot dog or something and I was just, I was reading something and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I had my like, my, my, hand, my arm was hanging down and like touching the ground. And I was just playing with something. And I your arms can reach the ground when you're standing up. I was not standing up. You look like an orangutan. I, just, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I dragged my knuckles. <laughs> yeah. I, I was playing with something, 
and it, and I didn't realize what it was, and it grabbed on to like my hand. And I lifted my hand up, and it was just a cockroach just grabbing ah. onto my hand. I I shrieked. Did you, did you do the the typical mat shriek? I did the typical. Did mat you do shriek. that, or did you do the? Ah! I just went. Ah! Yeah. Oh man. I, I, I scare Matt on a. Uh, I we talked about it two podcasts mm-hmm. ago. How you ran it? How you like to run into my room? But fully I have to naked space to it out. Me. I, yeah, I did that. He does that? He runs into my room. I would do naked. jump scares with Amelia all the time. I actually have a, a compilation of all the jump scares that I did because she's so like she loves to play scary games, but she just can't. She's huh, you know like she's so jumpy. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, we had this uh, basically any time where she was focused on something else was perfect opportunity for jump scares in the car. Working out in her bed, especially in her bedroom, because like you, she was. That's would, like your Zen zone. That's yeah. like you're 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 comfortable there. But she leaves the door open, so it's like an open invitation for a jump scare. That's true. I mean, you're just if you leave the door open, you're, you're just asking for like a closed door means you know go away asshole. Or, you, know, you know some whatever. people some people would recognize that fact, Matt. That the closed door means go oh, away. Oh, yeah. I sense a. Uh, no, there's a story we a told last quarrel. podcast. There's a story two we told podcasts last ago. Podcast. I told a little story where. I pulled a little prank on Ryan when his door was shut. And, it was... And, he, and he knew why the door was shut, but he told someone to rush into the room anyways. With and a camera. With a camera because <gasps> they're, like, to scare him. they're like, hey, go scare Ryan. So uh, that was fun. Yeah, go oh. listen to episode yeah. 41. It's exactly what you're thinking. It's 100% exactly what you're thinking. Oh, okay. It was really funny. It was funny, though. It was funny. And this is like my first, like, the week, first week with Matt. That was not the first week. That was I the you. first fucking no, time you wasn't. visited. That yes, was it like, was. That was like, like, That's the first time you visited. Now I I understand why you guys had a hard time at the beginning of your relationship, but I'm glad that you guys made it through it, those it, hurdles. It's like friendly bullying, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like friendly joshing. I feel just like joshing. that's But that, you didn't know me at all, so I'm just like, what is this guy doing? Who the fuck that's is also this guy? a guy thing, too. I don't think... I would play a joke or two, but I wouldn't do something along Are you telling any me of those lines. You don't Snapchat your dick to your friends like we do? Oh, uh, well, I do that all the time. I, I don't do that. Not... Just to, not <laughs> just to do, no, I don't do that. Dude. I Well, and also, too, I try not to snap my dick because I just don't want to intimidate people. That is true. Yeah, definitely. I have a topic about games. Lay it on us, Ryan. Lay Matt, it on us thick. Matt has not been able to get into a certain game for some reason for the longest time and I am I feel I, like I, you're tattling. I'm at I'm I'm <laughs> I don't understand how he's not kind of gotten into it. Um okay. it's it's Zelda Breath of the Wild. Like I've put probably 200 plus hours into the game already. You have I saw on your little friends list thing it said I'm it was at, like 200 hours. I'm yeah. at 300. You're at 300? Mm-hmm. And, Mine and, says a few minutes, you, which isn't true. But, but you like you just you'd like just you said you couldn't get into it? I don't. Well, also, it it didn't help that when it came out it was incredibly Hi. busy time for me. I was so busy at that time, mm-hmm. so I I kind of like while all my friends were playing it and getting ahead, I I didn't have the time to devote to that because I was also I think. Did you the, feel like if you weren't playing it at the same time as them that you would somehow miss out on the discovery? Yeah, or? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that's another reason I haven't gotten back into it. But I just I I'm not good at devoting myself to games I'll start a game and I'll never finish it mm-hmm. I have a terrible habit of that there's several games that I love that I have finished but Breath of the Wild I think I'm also like I'm intimidated by huge open world games oh, yeah. that I know it's gonna take hundreds of yeah. hours and I, I just, just get be- intimidated I, I just become enthralled that. like I just it sucks me in and I'm I'm there like all all I can think about for like a week or two is just well, I gotta but, I gotta get work done today so I can play more Breath of the Wild. Yeah, like, oh I, yeah. Or you had your Switch on you at all times because you wanted to be able to play if you had any free time. I have started bringing my yeah, Switch to the to work office every day. so I could play Mario Kart and Zelda and mm-hmm. uh, uh, Binding of Isaac and Kamiko and all those games. Awesome. Just so like Good when games. stuff is exporting and stuff, I can just plop it down in front of me yep. and play. Yep. Well, like it's, I really like the console. People I, yeah. are giving it shit though. They're giving the it like they're mm-hmm. giving it shit because of like the, because it is small. Uh, the only the only gripe that I have one is the availability. Not everybody can get one because it's really hard to find. They're probably doing that for the holiday season, though, don't you think? Um, well, it's also too uh, Nintendo doesn't want to invest in uh, you know a big release and having a bunch of systems that don't get picked up because mm-hmm. they're innovators. They yeah. they're testing the waters. They're they're trying new things and different things. So with innovating, you can't bank on the fact that it's going to fucking annihilate yeah. the market. So usually what they do is they plan certain, you know, numbers and then, you know, when it exceeds then they start like banking them yeah. out, which is what they did with the Wii because when the Wii was announced, everybody shat all over it. They're like, motion controls, Wii mode, like, I don't want to have to, bleh. you know, like, everybody gave it so much shit. And now the Wii is what defined, 
you know, console and gaming and VR for the future. Like Nintendo innovates gaming. And so because of that, they have to bank on the fact that it may not do that well. But when you think of uh, this, is just a thought when, when you when I think of VR and what it is today, then I go back to the Wii. It almost seems like the Wii is kind of like a. Compared to all those other things, it was like a toy you got in a McDonald's meal. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Nowadays, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But, I mean, like, it's computers, if you go if you go back and look at, like, the, the first the first computers that were ever made, it's oh, the same thing. I, oh, God. I remember I remember those good tube monitors. Oh, gosh. Now it's nothing but flat screen. Yeah. Nobody uses anything but. When I see a tube thing, I'm like, what a waste of space. You know, they actually. I had a projector, like a big projector. You know those things where it's, like, within the TV itself? It had, like, this vinyl screen and, go, yep. and on the yeah. inside it projected the image mm-hmm. it was really cool i had oh, really? one of those big it was a big tv and on the bottom it had this the speakers and it had a speaker cover it was this it was made out of wood knock on it yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah I i just i just made a realization that tvs or screens went from you know like sticking outwards like curved outwards to flat to, flat, to now curved inwards, inwards yeah. you know <laughs> what's what's the next one just a hole in the screen no, you just plug directly into your brain. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be an inverted That's, cone. What is going to happen like in 20 years? Like how are we going it's to consume days. material? Because right now people use phones, iPads, and flat screens. I don't know if we're in, reaching in, like a... In, in, how about 50 years? 50 years it's going to change. Definitely. I don't uh, know when we're going to move beyond screens. I feel like it, it reaches like a, a plateauing point where it's just kind of like... I, I feel like the last decade technology has completely... Like if you had a graph of... The advances in technology, I think the last 10 years have been like exponentially higher than the last 10 before that. And then I think it's higher than the next 10 will be because I think it, it shot up and then it's just kind of like me. Well, I'm more like, again. yeah, the technology might change, but they're always um, enhancing things because um, they want to make things more. You know, they want to make you more lazy. They don't you don't want to put as much work into turning on the TV or do switching through channels or watching what you want to watch. So I'm like wondering what innovations are going to occur within the next 50 years to deal with, like just to make everything easier, which is just going to essentially lead to a Wally esque future. But... I want to see what phones like could compare. It's like the iPhone you have now, which essentially is like a computer compare that to 10 years ago in 2007, you know what cell phones were like then I wonder or even I... what computers were like then. Oh yeah. Yeah, like you're like an iPhone's more powerful than a computer ten years ago. So we have all of the knowledge that is all all knowledge available to us on this in your pocket, like anywhere you go, because you can get the internet anywhere. So it's crazy. I, I wonder when we're like sixty, what phones will be like, or what our eyesight will be like. They're gonna make glasses. We're looking at screens. Yeah, no, all I think day. screens make your eyesight worse, which happened to me because I didn't. I always had like perfect vision my whole life until I started editing as a full time job. Oh yeah. My I I had to get glasses because my my vision just kind of turned to shit from staring at screens and all also, day. Also too, you're you're aging. My eyesight gets worse with aging before I even looked at computer screens all day. But then again, I was looking at TV screens all day because I've been playing video games since I was five years old. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that LASIK surgery. Gotta, yeah. Well, actually, I can't. I can't get LASIK. You can't get LASIK? No, because I have a lazy eye. What? Aww. Do you? Yeah. Look at me. I can control it. Do you not see it? So you look at me, and then I just it see just the back of your head. Okay, yeah. I think, Matt, have I mentioned this before? Whoa, like, that's really cool. Like, <laughs> when I look off into the distance or when I'm just kind of, like, not focusing, does one of my eyes just kind of divert? It does. Like the slightly, like you slightly. can't tell from Algorithms. a distance. I, I wouldn't say. It, I don't know. I think it just goes down a little bit or something. I, I, yeah, yeah. But it's not like a lazy eye. No. It's just it's like just... this out of focus, like like you're uncalibrated. Technically, that is considered a lazy eye. Like like how they draw lizards in cartoons with their eyes going <laughs> in goofy ways. Uh... It, I, I, I've seen it before, but then, but then as soon as you like come back to focus, it's gone. Oh, yeah. That's kind but of I, how my eyes are. I, I feel like I feel like everyone kind of does that to an extent when they just kind of like lose focus. Yeah. Their eyes just kind of like drift apart because you kind of go into this like trance. Yeah. Yeah. But not down. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I, don't I, know. I, I don't look at myself. I'll try to snap a picture next time I see you. Just it. try to stare but at But also, my eyes. too, it depends on if someone's looking at you from a different angle. Like sometimes when people take pictures from. Like a like a side angle, it'll look like they have lazy eyes when actually the distance between their eyes is exaggerated because you can't see the bridge of the nose. What what is a lazy eye exactly? Um, a lazy eye is uh well mine is called what they call controllable extropia, which is where the muscles um you know uh your brain controls your eye muscles at the same time, which is how 
you know, like it, they have a focal point, brings them together, muscles mm-hmm. work together to make one image. Um, I was born with a lazy eye, but for some reason, I've, through sheer willpower, uh, it corrected itself when I was about five years old. Oh, so cool. ever since then, I've been able to control it. I can expand my peripheral vision so I can see like way the fuck back here, Whoa. like behind what? my ears. Oh, yeah. Like a superhuman. Yeah. Okay, wait, can we test it out? If you want to. How, what would be a good way to test that? Can well, you I, can, can I write like, something on a sheet of paper? Put it. I like, can't read. No, no, no. You need, like, you she, need you, both how, your eyes. To how, read. How, do when, I, how do I? Like, like you can move if something you and like, see. She can say when it when it disappears. <laughs> okay. He's like, I'm ready for this. Uh, I'm excited. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, I have a pen. I just want to. Okay, for me, I want to see. I want to. I know what the pen looks like. What are you doing? From a random person. Like how? I guess. How like wait like when you move your hands to the side of your head? When can you stop seeing them? Oh, okay. I can't. Okay. This is where I can't see them anymore. Should I just look ahead or should I try? You know, no, you look, you look directly ahead. Straight ahead. ahead. Straight ahead. Okay, so I'm gonna this, this is your peripheral vision. I can't. This is me. It's, it's gone right here. Okay. That's pretty good. Okay. That's, that's, that's good. <laughs> I'm really... I'm... The viewers have no idea how far we're talking. You <laughs> <laughs> know? So this is like, I use this in uh, supermarkets to like broaden my peripheral vision. What the fuck? No, but no, what? you can't. Yes, I can. Okay, hold what? on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Tell me when it appears in your in your peripheral vision. No. What? Fuck that. <laughs> no <laughs> fucking way. How many, so how many cool. degrees of vision? You have a is wide that? angle lens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But, the, but you have to eyes. think about it. The only time it's really practical is when I'm in a shopping aisle and I come to the end of the aisle to see if anybody's coming, and that's it. Or in the woods when there are predators. Or driving. But Peripheral you, vision you, is. You, super... When you're in the woods, you need to be looking where you're going, not what's around. I'll stop and like maybe do that. But you can like... stop like a deer. Your ears <laughs> yeah. will flutter a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be, I'll just be like, st- like, uh, I'll be camping and I'll be walking along and I'll hear like, and then I'll just like eyes out. I'll be like looking around people like, what the fuck is up? <laughs> she was fine a second ago and then she stopped. Her eyes went all crazy and now she looks weird. <laughs> you, you, you literally say galloping away like a doe. <laughs> <laughs> I just off. I just figured out you could mount uh, deer and stuff and and bears. Breath of the Wild. I I tried to, but he ran away. Polar you can bears mount bears. In icy areas. You know, actually, it sucked because um the the. <laughs> I hated it. <laughs> I was about to say the yakuza, but it, it's not what they're not, called. Not What's the, the clan in uh, uh, Breath of the Wild? Oh, I know who you're talking about—the little red guys. Yeah, them. I was about to mount a bear. One of them appeared, and so I had to fight him. And then the bear started running away and shit. Aww, pissed me times. off. The bokoblins. No. no, it's a different. It's a different. It's like the... I have not gotten the far, that far in the game. So oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't they, they appear. Spoil. They they appear regardless. You'll no, see. No, I don't care about spoilers. Oh, okay. Because uh, um, once you get to a certain point, like once you've got so many hearts, and if you get to a certain point in the game, they'll just start appearing everywhere. Especially if you take out their boss. Yeah. And then they'll be like, "I must avenge him." That 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 whole boss battle. Okay, spoiler alert. Skip like to this time code if I, you I'm don't. Not, what time if, code? If, uh, Fuck you it. find out in editing. What, what are you talking but about? The, but the, but what, what time? What? I wanted to ask. Have you beat uh, the boss? D, wait. I beat the game. Okay. Well, I was gonna ask you about. Uh, I don't know. Barry and them always say the like everything's a spoiler in the game, so I'm always cautious to like drop something that I'm not sure well, you Barry know thinks about. No, it. I'm, I'm three hundred. There's a probably. certain horse that's like super yeah, cool to me. Yeah, yeah. Like, fucking yeah. I, when I first saw it, and like it was, was the like, one where you had to go to the statue, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, 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 yep. Okay. All right. Oh. All right. <laughs> Anyways, Welcome sorry, back, Mike. everyone. There, there Welcome was no back. spoiler in that. There's no need. <laughs> there's no time code that he needed to skip to. He put we a, just we implied a thing, and then he implied a thing. I implied a thing. We one hundred percent understood what was going yeah, on in the yeah. situation. It's fine. Okay, I, everyone's I healthy. Because I don't. I have not played that far into Breath of the Wild. I are, my are you time. going? Are you going to at some point try and like just he's play too around? Intimidated. Eventually, he's too intimidated. eventually I will. You don't I think like he's open telling world games. you that to make you happy, but yeah. I don't think I, he's actually. Do gonna you not do like it. open world games? I do like open world games. I don't know. Also, because I haven't played Skyrim, and you were getting on me about that. Take this into account. Breath of the. I had Breath of the Wild for like. Three days before I went to Japan for like two weeks, mm-hmm. so I missed the initial like Sorry. hype train of it because I was in Japan. Well, but you don't, but, in, but you don't need hype to enjoy the game. Yeah, yeah. no, but I didn't get to play it because I was in Japan. Well, and also too, like I know that I know that open world games are really intimidating and spoilers are really intimidating, but I feel that. You're going to make Breath of the Wild the game that you want it to be. It doesn't necessarily... I didn't play it because I was expecting it to 
to be the same play style as everyone. Like you literally can go anywhere and do anything at any point. You can beat Ganon straight out the freaking door if you want it. It's your own adventure. It's your own adventure. There's no path except for like the beginning. You do like the first kind of introduction shit. But right after that. I've already done all that. Yeah. And, and, and honestly, like the, the four temples or the dungeons that you have to do, you don't have to do them to beat the game. It's non-linear, and that's what I like about it is the fact that the adventure I made w- may not be the same as someone else's adventure. I mean, there are, you know, flagpole parts that you have yeah. to, like, actually complete. But other than that, the most pleasure I got out of the game was not the dungeons, was not the boss fights. It was actually the little things that I did when I was exploring. Like the so, just stuff that you just happened upon. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Just, like... Oh, man, there's like scenario like Nintendo took so much time developing this game that they created scenarios that only happen at certain points and certain days at certain times. And uh, those little scenarios, those unique interactions where it's kind of like finding a freaking needle in a haystack. Well, the chances of you being in that exact spot in this broad world at that exact time in order to see that cutscene happen freaking a but okay, when it, I, but when it happens it's really it's, it's worth it you it's know what? magic i will give it i will i will i will i'll pick just it back up just explore and run around i will like, i that's will all, that's all you do just I'll do it tonight. fart around i'm gonna fart around tonight just i'm, I'm gonna lay in bed i'm gonna get my switch out and i'm, I'm gonna try it out and there's, then i'm gonna and there, then i'm gonna fart, I'm gonna fart. <laughs> there's essentially like a whole mission where it's just effectively i don't want to ruin it uh for you but it's just kind of there's no fighting involved mm-hmm. all it is is Building, 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 building. That's oh, all that it sounds is. really fun. Yeah, you know I what like I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. It's like playing with dang Legos. Matt, yeah, I can say the name. My favorite place in the game is Terrytown. Terrytown is the best. That, that's the spot to be. It's the best to to buy, sell, Terrytown? interact. Terrytown. Terrytown. Every Terrytown. NPC is Terry Crews. <laughs> That would be amazing. Did I just spoil it? Because you, you both, <laughs> you both got breaks. a look on your face like, shit, he just spoiled it. You both just got this look on your Terry face. Terry Crews. He has been talking with a lot of game developers recently. Because <laughs> yeah. he built his own computer, did you hear? Oh, yeah. With the, he with won't, I will not. I always knew Terry Crews as everybody hates Chris. Me too, the dad like on everybody dad. hates Chris. And now he's the guy that built his own computer. That's that's what he's advertised as. That we, that's what he loves to talk about all the time. That I see on YouTube and stuff. He's yeah. like Rocket League. Well, I mean, people people enjoy watching and hearing about passion, and he, he was very passionate. Well, he's passionate about, about, it. about it because he wanted to connect with his son, which is really cool. Yeah. That's the reason because he felt like he was drifting apart from his son. Good and so he turned his son into a computer. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> classic Terry Crews. That's classic. He did uh. that on Everybody Hates Chris too. It's like a recurring theme. <laughs> he created Hal. God, I fucking love that show. Everybody Hates Chris. I was so it's really sad good. when they canceled it. Did you ever watch that show, Pam? Mm-mm. You didn't watch Everybody Hates Chris? No, I Did don't. you at least watch Malcolm in the Middle? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, I, sorry, sorry, sorry. Breaking Bad? It's not... Yeah. Uh, I, I don't watch. Come on. So okay, okay. What do you okay. watch? What TV okay, okay, shows do you okay, watch? Okay, 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 okay. We're mad so right now. This is no, no, no. This I'm is sorry. a heated debate. And this is this. Is, I know <laughs> it's a heated debate, and this is something that uh, not a lot of people know about me. Is I have um, an OCD for control, and so uh, control of like my my mental state, which is oh, why not like I'm control like of sentient. everything. No, 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 no. Okay. I don't need to control <laughs> okay. my outside. I just need to be able to be grounded within myself. Okay. So uh, this is something that I got from my dad and I and I say I got it from my dad because I can't control it and so the only way I can control it is by not doing it. When there's a TV on around me, I cannot pay attention to anything other than what's on the fucking TV. Really? And I hate that about myself. So if someone like, um, if someone's watching infomercials, I will sit there and watch infomercials for hours and it's because I just... There's a magnet that draws my eyes to the TV. And so ever since I was a very little girl, I've had an aversion to watching TV. I'll sit down and like be like, okay, tonight I'm going to watch last week tonight because there was an episode up. But I can watch that in my own time. But uh, I like, like having Game stuff Thrones, on in the background. I can't do that. I can't. Absolutely cannot really? do you that. Can't, you have to pay attention. I have like, to. Yeah. You're a f- 100% focused on mm-hmm. what's on the screen. Yep. You can't have anything on in the background. Nope. And, and like, I, it, it makes me feel horrible because a lot of the time, you know, like parties or, you know, social functions, people just have, have a like TV a TV on. on. Yeah. What are those? And people are like, <laughs> <laughs> TVs? Well, <laughs> uh, no, they're... No social uh, interaction. They'll have, they'll have like background noise. And my roommate, Justin, used to have 
a TV on at all times. You used and to roommate to, with Justin Long? Yeah. That's so fucking cool. He's he's a cool guy. Sorry to interrupt. He would have he would have a TV on in the background and I don't actually didn't Justin Long. I just people don't know me on the podcast. They're, they like, were gonna be he, like, he, No he really fucking way. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, he actually moved with me from Kansas. But he used to have the TV on all the time and I had to be like, Justin, I need you to watch TV when I'm in bed or sitting down with you or not nearby you because I can't I will watch a TV for I just can't. And I won't hear what you're saying at all. Like, you could be sitting right next to me talking to my face. If I'm watching a TV, I won't hear you. Like, and I hate it. It's the one thing about myself that I'm like, Ugh, but, but that means when you're, when you're playing a game or when you're, when, when, where you're, but when you're, you're watching control, a movie. You're in control of the story. Movie is very much like stop, start. No, Like, but, you sit down and do those things. But TV shows tend to go a lot longer. And it's harder for me to say no to like, oh. Oh, there's only seven seasons yeah. of this show. I'll just watch all of them. <laughs> I guess what I was like getting at is like with with the bright side of that, you can probably say that's not how it works. Uh, but when you're watching a movie or a video game, you I feel like you can pay a lot more attention. I probably miss oh, yeah. a lot of things because I'm just like oh blah blah blah. Well, that's why like I <laughs> I. I cultivate obscure knowledge about B and C list actors where I'll be like, you know, just Who's your like, favorite oh, hey, C list actor. Uh, favorite C list actor is probably, Oh, are we your favorite D list YouTube celebrities? No, don't do that. Don't do that. We're not. We're not. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> don't classify yourself as D list. Don't self deprecate. Right, you guys F-list. are like a list. Yeah. Top notch. Oh, thank you. Top H-list. notch. I Damn. said A. We're M list. That's where we are. Where were you going? Like we're <laughs> down, <laughs> down the alphabet. Yes. <laughs> I like how you you wanted to slowly progress down the alphabet instead of just going straight to Z. How where many more going? lists are there? Where are we going? Continue what you were saying. Uh, no, no matter. I'm more enthralled by the letters yeah. that you're pronouncing. Well, I can say I can say Q. Or Whoa! R, Holy sh- S. Damn. T. Pam, his, did you hear that his shit? His pronunciation is pretty spot on. Now if yeah. now if he could now if he could fucking say that shit in order. Have you guys seen the new Frozen Lego show? Frozen um, is having a they have TV a Lego show. TV show. Every yeah. every what? animated Frozen film. wait Le- Frozen Lego yeah Frozen Lego. Lego TV show. I thought they really were reaching for like Lego Batman. This is this is no they have Lego Frozen huge they have Lego soon everything. they're gonna have Lego Super Mega and I don't I don't. <laughs> I don't see why people are marveling at the the Lego thing. The Lego thing has existed for a while. Lego has well, been a TV show, games, all kinds. Well, it's, of... Yes, but now it is one hundred percent like it's at its peak. You mainstream. would say mainstream. Yeah, it's like mainstream. super mainstream now. Okay. Yeah, I see. But not not that it's not cool. What I'm saying is, I I watched the anime, the, the Batman Lego movie. I I Love thought it that. had a joke in there. I laughed my ass off at one. That have you seen it? Yeah. The part I laughed at was when it, they were naming like the C4 bomb, the, the bomb, the bomb, 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 bomb. And all of a sudden it goes, and two best friends. I don't know. That was just unexpected. <laughs> well, you just spoiled the whole damn movie for me, Ryan. You're, you were never going to see a Lego yeah. movie. I was going to see it no, tonight. You fucking no, you fucking Yes, I was, Ryan. No, you weren't. Oh, man. I've been playing my whole day around it. That now it's ruined. Me. I want to go see Guardians Volume 2 again. Have you not seen? Oh, you have. Oh, yeah. I want to see it again. I, I haven't it. seen the first one. I would. He doesn't watch more. He doesn't. He doesn't watch superhero movies. I'm not. This isn't a superhero movie, though. He doesn't watch Marvel movies. Oh. I've seen Marvel movies. But it's just not your type of... He's seen them, but he doesn't watch them. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I've just never... I'm not, I'm not big into... He's, he's, a, okay. he's, he's smarter than your average person, so he stays away from all that dumb people schlock. You know what? You can take all that shit from Ryan, and I say you do you. If you don't like watching something, don't do it. Don't Thank let you. people give you shit about you, not Pam. doing what you don't want to do. I've just never been into superhero movies. Good just for you. Never, never been then what are thing. you into if you're not into superhero movies? Japanese stuff? Yes. I'm a, I like weeb stuff. <laughs> I like I like comedy. I like I don't know. I guess with movies for me, it's kind of like a uh, just like whatever. It's like a each to its own type of thing. I go see everything because I have to give everything like a like I I can't trash on something unless I've seen it or else I feel like I'm just being an asshole. So like if something's if people are like, oh, this movie was horrible, like uh, the Angry Birds movie, you guys. We're saying that it was going to be bad, and I was dreading it, and I watched it, and, I loved it, and it. it wasn't awful. I loved it. I wouldn't say I movie. loved it. Did you it. know that Ian's in it? Yeah. He is. <laughs> I love that movie. I really enjoy I Okay, I actually went into that thing. I'm like, man, I'm going to hate this. And I watched it, and I was like, oh, my God, I loved that. That was really Was that your good. favorite Bill animated Hader film? Bill did a really good job in he, voice He shook his like, head yes. Huh? I did not shake my head yes. I said it wasn't my favorite animated film, but it was, it was pretty good. Top favorite three? Animated. Favorite animated film? Oh, it used to be Over the Hedge, but I haven't seen that in like seven years so i don't know if that still stands tall i don't know what my favorite animated film is you can Mine's be 2d how to train your dragon that's a good one. i thought two was better than one really 
I really liked. The, I, like, I, I loved the. I really liked the story in two and the the emotional kind of weight it had. Yeah, and, and that, I would get why that would be better. But I liked honestly one hundred percent the reason that I liked How to Train Your Dragon is because uh, Toothless reminds me of my cat Moose. Yeah, <laughs> and well, there was more about. It was. I almost said Moose. It was more about Moose. It was more about Toothless in one than it was about. Yeah. Toothless in two. Well, I read that actually in How to Train Your Dragon they based his mannerisms they on did! cat. Mm-hmm. <laughs> They, I'm dead serious. Have you not seen, watch that every seen, day. Okay, every day. You watch How to Train I watched Your Dragon it every day. day when I lived in my townhouse in Kansas. I watched it every day. <laughs> Sounds it's, like a fun life. I, I waited a long time to watch it because I was like not sure at first because they got the, uh, I don't know, it just threw me off, just the voice acting in the trailers. Oh, yeah. I was like, what is this? And then I yeah. saw it and it was really good. Yeah. I watched it twice in a row one day and I, I, lo- I, I enjoyed it. I just didn't want to watch it. Back to back, because I was at the time I was I think I was babysitting my neighbor's kid, and, oh. and they watched. I was it. like, we you want to watch kids. it again, and I was like, oh, you were with no. kids. I was gonna be either that or you were with me. <laughs> no, I was I was with kids. Same thing. But, Same thing. I'm, I'm a child. I didn't mean it, Pam. No, it's okay. But I had to watch it back to back, and I was like, this is a. Uh, you know, I like the movie. I just don't want to watch it twice in a row, and then I watched it twice in a row. Very fun. Very fun experience. Yeah. I feel like watching a movie twice in a row can actually make. I have never had a desire to watch it again after that. And I think it might be because I just watched it twice in a row in one sitting. So my brain was like, I'm done with this. There are these people, I can't even remember what movie it was, but I just, it was, I think it was kind of like an Adam sandler type movie. Not necessarily an Adam Sandler movie, but one of those feels like, yeah. not a good <laughs> movie, but a movie where like people watched it. it. Yeah. <laughs> and it, they these guys, they had an experiment where they, I think they watched it every day for like a year or something oh, like that. God. And so they... They said that they would just, by like the hundredth or so time of watching it, it was like this very surreal experience. Like they would, they knew everything that was going on. It was almost like just kind of being on a, not a drug, but it was just, as I said, they, it was just a surreal experience and their brain was just like, they felt it was, it was like a form of torture essentially. Wow. Just watching the same, imagine that, watching the same movie well, every day for my, a, about a year or so. So I, I, I watched How to Train Your Dragon once a day for, for a while. It wasn't a year, but I didn't subject anybody else to it. It yeah. was just me by myself. My dad used to watch Napoleon Dynamite it's every day. It's a good movie. Day, I love it. It's a good every movie. Every day for over a year. Are you every, tired I'm of, not even kidding. Like, are you tired like, of Pedro? And he still quotes it all the time. My dad has a little clicker that has Napoleon Dynamite quotes on it. I had it too. I had it too. It had like six little buttons <laughs> yeah. on it and it does different quotes. Oh, my dad seriously loves that movie so much. Whenever, every every time it was time for dinner, my dad would be like, Tina, come get some ham. And I'm like, my uncle did that with <laughs> Borat. Every time he came to a family thing, he's like, very nice. He's like, all yeah. all the time. Every, like, you have Borat. an uncle that looks like Borat. Is it him? Mm-hmm, that's him. Is it really the uncle that looks like Borat? Yeah. That's great. He shaved, he shaved his mustache so he doesn't look Aww, like Borat anymore. No. But he's he's really he's a really cool guy. Isn't he actually Middle Eastern, though? Uh, my family is. So so it's just like having a real-life Borat in your family. Mm, that's family's awesome. Dutch and Middle Eastern, and then you got my whitey of a dad. <laughs> the white little dad ruining it. <laughs> click, <the>, click. <laughs> But yeah, Pam, I, I I think this is a good it's a good it's a good place to to land. Thank you so much for coming on our podcast. Yeah. And uh, is there uh, let people know how they can find you? Oh, okay. What's your address? How, what, uh, what, uh, okay, so I live. And, <laughs> um, you can follow my Twitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, got I got that do, Twitch. I Twitch do, TV. I got that Twitch life. We didn't talk about Twitch. We didn't talk way. about Twitch. I said. But next before, time. Yes. Next time. I did enjoy. I did enjoy recording this. So there will definitely be a next time. I will be. I will be the second. <laughs> Girl, <laughs> I will be the second woman on this podcast. If you enjoyed my content on Nya, my my voicing and my talkings, she was a voice uh, actor. This wasn't what, what's your real voice sound like, just so people know. Talks like this. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually uh, just me doing a voice. I, I am yeah, Pam. yeah. We were cutting this together so that it sounds like uh, I'm I'm Matt. Stop person. doing the voice. Yeah. I'm yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Um, but if you if you liked what you heard here, you can follow me on Twitter and all social medias at Pamela Horton 13 on my Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Pamela Horton 13 or my YouTube where I have this really awesome series called Draw Some Gaming. YouTube.com slash Pamela Horton stuff because that's where all my stuff goes. All those links uh, will be down in the description for you to go <laughs> click. Online content has trained you well. Yeah. You got that down to a fucking just science. Well, because uh, like I said before, I have my fingers in a lot of different projects where they're like, where's your home at? And I'm like, okay, this 
this is where my stuff yeah. is. I feel like I have to be better at doing that, but I, we don't really go on other people's channels that much. But you guys are to... going to come on Draw Some Gaming, right? Yes. 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 Sure. yes. yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Cool. That, yeah. Thank you for coming on the podcast. Yeah. Yeah. I had Thanks a really good time. Yeah. Thanks for teaching us about periods. Yeah. I had if you no guys idea. have any questions, you got a comfortable place to come talk to as a girl who will not judge you. As soon as I get my first period, I'll give you a call. Okay. You can help me out with that drawer. I'll hook you up with a drawer. Thank you. Thanks for being a thanks for being a girl. Yeah. I do what I can. Bye. Bye. I dropped my phone. Love you. Bye.